Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for a disaster, to give you a hope and a future. This video is made by an innovative dreamer for other innovative dreamers. It is to encourage you to that no matter what season that you currently find yourself in life, you can always rise above it, overcome, and achieve the plan and the blueprint that God has for your life. It's 2019, people. Let's live the dream. Brothers and sisters, I want to welcome you back to life. What is your dream? <laughs> My dream is to uh, rap for God and spread his love to all the people, show them that no matter what's going on, God is always there for you. Um, I wanted to become a doctor because I just like the fact of me helping people and taking care of them. Um, I want to create a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to supplying people around the world with re creative resources that they need in order to be prepared for jobs and creative fields and also to have access to resources that they may not have otherwise had access to, for example. My dream is to go into the legal field and start a law firm, uh, to be an attorney for those that can't protect themselves inside the legal system. Living the dream is, I feel like, a combination of what you want for yourself and what God wants. Not only just doing what God has called you to do, because I know that sounds really cliche, um, but obviously that's the ultimate goal, but living the dream is maximizing your full potential and doing all that that you're able to do in any area that you're called. So not just your personal desire, your personal ambitions and your career goals, but even in the smallest areas, living the dream and impacting and influencing every single person. So what does the verse Jeremiah 29 11 mean to you? He set you on this earth for a purpose and you might not know what it is now, but sooner you will, but he already knows what you mean. that the plan is a process and that God will, it says he will prosper you, but in order to see him prosperous, you do have to go through harder times because you can't, if you're constantly in a state of prospering, then you won't know what it's like to be on the other side of that and you won't know what it's like to see God come through. In order for God to come through, you have to be in a state where you're weak. Um, and so just keeping that in mind, but understanding that the plan is that you will be victorious in the end is what's ultimately going to carry you through. But the truth of the matter is you're going to be happiest doing what God wants you to do and seeking out his plan and his purpose for your life. And I know a lot of us, we've messed up so bad. We feel like God couldn't use us. God doesn't, I don't, I'm not worthy enough to live the dream. Well, sis, let me tell you, that has been my life recently. But what I found is that no matter where you find yourself in life, God has you on this earth, like Chloe said, for a purpose. And he's still seeking after you and still pursuing you. And if you're still alive today, which you obviously are, so you wouldn't be watching this video, <laughs> then God's not done with you yet. And no matter how far gone you are, God can, you're never too far gone for God not to use you and not to use the dream and the purpose inside of you that you have.